Good morning, everyone. Oh, let me take this out. You guys might be able to hear me. For some reason, the earpiece does not like. So let's get that out of the way. All right. So here we go. We are over at Hendrickson Lake. And we had a lot of rain last night. And the lake is overflowing. Look at those reflections from the sky. Kevin Brady's on. Kevin Brady's on. Good morning, brother. So we're over here at the lake. Love the reflections. Love the reflections on the lake. Life reflects what we put out there. Oh, I think I saw Dawn there. All right. So... Wednesday edition. We're halfway through the week. Hump day, as some would call it. Uh, there she is. Dawn, good morning. So we're over here by the lake. And this morning we're going to talk about how important it is to keep your mind right, have a good mindset. So um, every day we're faced with challenges in our life and we don't know the outcome. That challenge could end positive that challenge could end negative. We don't know the outcome. So that is a choice we make, whether we stay in God's favor. That was a little Joel Osteen that popped up this morning. It, what's that? Oh yeah, pace cars, keeping the pace, Kev. So um, I digress. Um, so we don't know the outcome of situations and we don't know if it's going to end in a good way or a bad way. It's just um, what's going to happen. So if we keep the faith and stay in God's favor, um, it's the same energy that it takes to be against it and fear it. Um, it's really just a mindset. It's how we're looking at each situation. Are we looking at the best in the situation? Or are we looking at the worst in the situation? So yesterday, I um, had a great day. There's a buddy of mine, those of you who know, Guy Bonamo, and he is a local dad of four, volunteer fireman, all-around good dude, and he was diagnosed with cancer. He had a big growth on his neck, and the original diagnosis didn't sound good at all, and he kept the faith. Um, Guy, I look up to you, brother. Um, he, <clears throat> we were talking about buying him a house. Um, he was in a rental and needed to uh, buy something. And then we were waiting for the summer to make it happen uh, when his lease was up. And then he was diagnosed with cancer. And we were kind of like, all right. And he said, no, we're going to buy a house this summer. And I'm kind of like, wow, dude, like you got cancer. Like you're dealing with that. He goes, no, we're going to buy a house this summer. So we just got an accepted offer on a house for him. And he got a clean bill of health from his cancer yesterday. Um, he kept the faith. He kept the faith. He could have gave up. He could have gave up. Diagnosed with cancer. Big, big growth on his neck. Um, and he didn't give up. He didn't give up. He kept the faith. He woke up every morning with a positive mindset and said, we're going to beat this and we're going to make it happen. He could have woke up every morning and gave up said you know I'm not gonna beat this but he kept the faith he kept the faith in God uh, kept praying and he basically believed himself into beating cancer and now buying a house so um, guy you're an inspiration man I, I don't know how you do it <clears throat> but <clears throat> God bless you um, so just want to put that message out there it's all in a mindset every morning we make we wake up and we decide if we're gonna be happy today or if we're gonna be sad today <clears throat> Each day is a new beginning and a new opportunity to make it a great day. Um, <clears throat> you know, you have a bad day yesterday, it doesn't mean today's going to be a bad day. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. God is on our side. Uh, stay in his favor. Um, live the way God would want us to live. Stay positive. Be, st be positive and keep that good positive mindset. Um, stuff in this world is bigger than us and... We just got to keep the faith. God will provide. God will provide. I mean, literally had cancer, had a big growth on his neck. Didn't seem good at all. 
and we just got an accepted offer and he's buying a house. Um, clean bill of health from cancer. Uh, and just amazing stuff, amazing stuff. God is good. So um, wake up every morning, be intentional. Um, Brian Stuman's podcast this morning um, was basically, um, you know, will your way into it. You know, put your mind there and make it happen. Uh, if you put your mind there, things will happen. If you put your mind, you know, in the gutter and complain about everything and don't put the effort in and don't live intentionally, stuff's not going to happen in your life. Um, super, super important to uh, be intentional and just keep the faith, keep the faith, say your prayers, keep your mindset right. Um, when things start getting sideways, take a deep breath, go, go down to the lake, go down to the lake, be one with God, get in your head, with God on our side, we can do anything. So don't fight it. A lot of people fight having God on their side. It's, it's a mindset. It's a mindset. So wake up every morning, take a deep breath, say we're going to win today, and get out there and win. Say a prayer, and uh, God's by our side. We can do anything. So get it done. All right, so let's say prayers. All right. A lot of hair is rocking today. All right. So um, in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, please help us all stay in faith. Stay in faith. Help us keep a positive mindset. Help us trust in you to make things happen. Uh, we are grateful. We are grateful that you are able to uh, help Guy get through this so he can be there for his family. Um, be there for the world. Just a, just a great influence on the world. Great guy. Um, you talk about positive mindset. Nothing stops him. So, God, we thank you for that. We thank you for all the people you put in our lives, all the opportunities you put in our lives. We thank you for our families, our children. Uh, we thank you for lakes and sunshine and blue skies and all of your creation. Stop and smell the roses. Take a look what God has done. God is good. So, uh, that amen so wishing everyone a happy wednesday um i don't like to say halfway through the week because every day is a new day i don't like to say thank god it's friday because every day we thank god that we're alive and we got up and we have a new opportunity to go out and win and go out and help people and go out and change the world so put a smile on your face Get up, get out, get dressed, brush your teeth, comb your hair, get out in the world. Make sure you say good morning to everybody in your life this morning and hello in this afternoon and just go out of your way to be nice and be a positive influence in the world. Be a prophet, spread some love, get some stuff done. It's all in your head. It's all in your head. Everything in life is in your head. So get your head in the right place, do the right thing, and you will be rewarded. All right, everyone. God bless. Happy Wednesday. Oh, tonight, uh, Apex Northeast Dinner, Garden City. So if you are a New York uh, Northeast Apexer, uh, anywhere near Long Island dinner tonight, I don't know if you got the message. If you are wondering what Apex is all about, uh, this movement that we jumped on, reach out to me. Uh, you can be my guest at dinner tonight and uh, come do some networking and meet some of the crew. Um, it's a great organization, uh, a lot of great people, great mindset, um, doing big things. Um, shout out to the Earn It Squad, the Earn It Squad in the making. You guys are awesome and can't wait to keep winning with you. And uh, what else we got going on in our life? Oh, new listing alert. Uh, six bedrooms, two baths, Malvern. That is a rare find in Malvern. Six bedrooms, nice and updated. Great block, school district 12, 35 Wag Avenue. 789 we're going to do open house this weekend keep your eyes open for that if you are looking for a big 
house in Malvern. It's just about 2,600 square feet, six bedrooms, two baths, a uh, big lot. Really, really cool house. So that is happening. Uh, I just got a one bedroom co op in Rockville Center. Uh, that is going to go off for 259, uh, one Jefferson over there. That's going to happen this week. Uh, working on a property out in East Northport for a listing. And of course, we got that accepted offer for Bonamos in Franklin Square, uh, around a block from where they're living now. And uh, I'm just so excited for that. I mean, it's just it's just such an amazing story, amazing people. And uh, God is good. God is good. Keep the faith. Get out there and win. Spread some love. God bless all.